Okay, what's going on? I'm finally doing a video I have talked about doing for a pretty long time is how I do my embryology project. I have one done right here. This is actually supposed to be done day three, but I waited six extra days just so the air cell can get bigger and then obviously I have a bigger hold than the other one I did on day zero. So that's gonna be really cool. You can see a lot a lot lot more. The only thing I had a problem with that one is I accident when I was moving the uh, moving the air cell, um, I accidentally I think I punctured um, my blood vessel, which I had to be. This is the very first time I ever, I ever had that happen. Um, so I don't know. I did. Let me turn the light off real quick. So I'm gonna give you guys show you guys what I'm talking about. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I think it's gonna be fine. So you can see a lot more as the eye. I'm just looking for blood, if any random blood's floating around. I think it stopped, but I'm not exactly sure. And that's just going to worry me a little bit going into tonight. Cause usually the day after I do all the stuff is when I usually run into problems. And it's either make or break it here. Lives through your night or it doesn't. And if it does live through your night, it usually lives up to hatching, hatching time. Um, actually, I'm going to take this one downstairs because it's been out for a while. Let me get the tape real quick and just tape everything in place just to make sure nothing moves um, while you look at it or um, when I'm just transporting like, like what I'm doing now or about to do. Okay. Got some tape just to make sure I don't want anything to move. Whoa, that was close. That was almost, I almost dropped it. Okay, any, anyway, I'm taking this tape off on day 16. If you ever followed my video journey before, um, I usually take it off on day 16 so I can give it a little bit more air. So I leave it a little part up so just to give it more air. And it usually works out. I had one hatch out here before by doing exactly what I'm showing you right now. So let me run downstairs real quick, put this in an incubator um, so it doesn't get too cold, and I'll start working on the next egg. Okay, I have returned. It's back in incubator. What was the other one? So here's this egg right here. Brown egg. It's really cool. That's probably not good. Um, if you see, I guess that's supposed to be day three. What I already have done is I just got a, whoops, got put these on the stove, sterilize them. Let me show you guys how I do that real quick. I'm gonna show you guys everything, all my tricks and tips. Let's see. Yeah, it's not good. Oh, I actually did light. I think it's gonna light. Okay, this is what I do. See? Uh, this is the best way to sterilize it because it goes up to, I don't know how hot that is. Maybe a thousand degrees. Okay, you see this tip here? I put this into the flame like so. It gets pretty hot to the point where sometimes if I keep it in long enough, it does start melting, which means it goes into a liquid state. Um, which is when it starts glowing. I mean, it's super, super hot. And like I, I usually, how I used to do it was I used to boil it, but this is much hotter. And it'll kill anything that's bad on there. Okay, so that's good. It's not exactly glowing because I, I don't really need it that hot. If anything was on here, it would have been killed already. So let me wash it real quick. Cool it off. This is pretty hot and it's steamy and sizzling. Put it against the water. So okay, back over here. Got my egg. I'm gonna make a small incision. I feel like a doctor right now. At the very tip, at the very top of the the fat end of the egg. Very gently. So I get a decent hold, and I start. Then you want to push in. Go under to so you like. Like that, so you're in the egg. 
Denise wanted to start taking the show away, which I'm gonna. Yeah, the hole's gonna be much, much bigger than usually. See, I'm just gonna take it off until I reach the end of the air cell and give us a pretty good view. I am gonna attempt taking the the membranes off again. Hopefully, I don't hit any blood vessels, but that is very tough to do. And I usually just get lucky and not hit anything. Okay, one more second. Now uh, get the last part to show off. Okay. Now you see I have that. You still see the membranes right there. So what I'm going to do is I have this Q-tip here. This is it. I wet it like so. Then what I gently rub so it gets all nice and moist. So it's easier to take off without damaging embryo or any of the the yolk or anything else that's inside is very important. See now you can really see through it. So what I'm going to do now is start peeling that back which is usually the hardest part of this. Okay. Usually the hardest part of the project. I'm trying to get it good. I need more light. I can't see. There we go, much be much better. No, oh, I did it again. Oh well, I think it's I think it's gonna be fine. This one I pulled away. I don't really wanna. Take it out. Nice if we can grab this part. Any blood vessels around? Nope. See from here. Okay, now that's pretty cool. Let me get my handy dandy iPhone. So I can glow the egg up for you guys. It's gonna be a little bit difficult because it is. A, a brown egg and of course the phone is ringing which I will not answer that was awkward that I was supposed to happen let's see can you see it I'll probably see a little bit better now let's move it over to where the embryo is that's really cool not something you see every day I've been doing this for three four years now actually hatch one out before doing this the way I'm showing you right now so it's pretty incredible watching it the whole way through and then actually having a hatch out so that is how I do it I hope you guys enjoyed my demonstration um just keep checking back for new videos I am going to do a day nine video which should be coming shortly so thank you for watching this video please make sure you subscribe like and leave a comment below any questions let me know thank you for watching and goodbye